58 million years ago, the most dangerous snake to ever exist roamed the Earth. It was the apex predator of its time, terrorizing everything in sight. In one corner of the ring, we have the Titanoboa! And in the other corner of the ring, from 65 million years ago, another deadly predator lurks, the T-Rex. It was at the top of its food chain with no competitors in sight. These two beasts both reigned supreme when they were alive, but if these predators had lived in the same period, who might win a battle to the death? Which creature would have the most advantages? How might the Titanoboa's size factor into the fight? And would this battle be about brute strength or strategy? This is Titanoboa versus T-Rex. We welcome you to today's battleground for our two warriors, the Watering Hole. Since the Titanoboa was too large to hide in trees, it would often slither around in shallow water. And since this was a common hunting ground where predators could sneak up on unsuspecting prey, the T-Rex could be found here as well, on the lookout for its next meal. Given this battleground, which competitor might have the home court advantage? Round 1! Let's learn a bit more about our fighters. Weighing in at 1,100 kilograms, we have the Titanoboa. This is the largest snake ever at 15 meters long. Although it doesn't attack with a venomous bite, the T-Rex better watch out for its constricting abilities. The Titanoboa crushes opponents with its long body, exerting over 27,000 kilopascals of pressure. Next, we have the king of the dinosaurs, the T-Rex. It's significantly heavier than the Titanoboa, weighing in at 14,000 kilograms. Its stubby arms are virtually useless in combat, but don't count the T-Rex out just yet. Its massive jaw contains serrated teeth that can slice up virtually anything. If the Titanoboa gets caught in the T-Rex's bite, this fight will be over pretty quickly. Now that we know a little bit more about our opponents, who do you think will win? Round 2. Fight! We meet our opponents at the local watering hole. The T-Rex is on the hunt for its next meal and looks to be pretty hungry. There's no other prey nearby, so it looks like the T-Rex is going to drink some water. It's pretty early for a break, don't you think? And on the other side of the watering hole, the Titanoboa is lurking about. And now it seems to have spotted the unsuspecting T-Rex from afar. As the T-Rex continues to drink some more water and wait for its next meal, the Titanoboa is now making its way to the other side of the battleground. It looks like it's slithering under the water, waiting for the perfect time to strike. The T-Rex is now done drinking and starting to walk away, and oh, the Titanoboa strikes from behind. The T-Rex is disoriented and stunned. It looks like the Titanoboa is using this opening to wrap itself around the body of the T-Rex. The T-Rex is doing its best to escape, but this extra weight the Titanoboa is putting on the dinosaur is giving it no chance. Oh man, this is just too ugly to watch. The T-Rex is completely outmatched at this point. The Titanoboa is continuing to constrict its body and oh, there goes the T-Rex toppling over now. Yes, this is pretty much a done deal here, folks. The Titanoboa is now issuing the final blow, further constricting and suffocating the T-Rex to death. That'll be a nice meal for the Titanoboa, but I'm gonna call it there. One, two, three. And your winner is the Titanoboa! Now, let's take a look at the replay. Round 3. If the T-Rex had been able to strike first, the battle would have played out very differently. But looking at the footage, we can see here that the Titanoboa's patience is what really set it apart in combat. The snake was known for its ability to plan, carry out sneak attacks on its prey, and that method was on full display in this match. 
Research also suggests that the T-Rex had weak, beady eyes, and it really had no chance of spotting the Titanoboa from afar, which made it so easy to sneak up on it. Once the Titanoboa got hold of the T-Rex, its short arms served no favors. Due to their size and impracticality, the T-Rex wasn't able to use its strength to tear off the Titanoboa, allowing it to constrict the dinosaur, eventually suffocating it. So, although the T-Rex was, in theory, stronger, the Titanoboa's strategy allowed it to become the ultimate victor of this battle. But what might the Titanoboa fight next? Maybe a modern-day anaconda? We'll see who wins on the next round of Versus.